But then the other, the only other thing that I like, Ryan. Yeah. And this is this is come this is a segment called uh, Dark Confessions. <laughs> is there a music cue for? I know I'm hitting you kind of off card there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, the, I've, the Shadows of Mordor made me finally I connected the dots because I'm like, why not? I like this game. I like Assassin's Creed. I like the Batman games. I, I, like, I like these aspects of these games. I like stalking and killing. Yeah. I like s specifically stalking and killing. Yeah. Not fair fighting people. Not being honorable. Like I like creepy. Horrible. Now, I know this actually. Self-empowered, like creepy, like 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 yeah. like like seventies serial killer. Yeah, you don't remember because we the one time I did play video games ten years ago, we were both playing Oblivion, and I found out that that was the difference between you and me. Because yeah. I like to go charging into battle with a sword, swinging face to face with my opponents, and you're like, no, I sneak up behind them and slit their throats. And I was like, wow, what's the fun in that? Because you're, in, because it's a lot. It's like not playing the game. <laughs> Who has the time to I, sneak? I do, I do. I, I, I can like if you would watch me. Well, now you can with Twitch, but uh, if you uh, but 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 I would uh, like if you would see me the way that I play video games. Where I'm like, like it's just I'm always the like like I'll just find some fucking cabinet or like like a little railing or something where like yeah. it's shaped weird, so the like, like I kind of wiggle in there and then, then the the I just wait for the monsters to go rawr, 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 and then I'm like coward. Bomb, <laughs> and it takes like two damage away. And they're like, rawr, rawr. and I'm like, I got you, motherfucker. Yeah, hole in the system. It may only be two points of damage, but it's it adds up, baby. And and then I'll just, so then someone will come in the room and go, what are you doing? And I'll go, I'm slowly blowing up an elephant gorilla <laughs> that I could probably kill with three hits, but. Then I'd have to suffer the indignity of that fucking thing touching me, <laughs> I, 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 thinking that it's better than me. I, I just I like these I like these I like these Shadows of Mordor is like it's the ultimate. This is the thing. It's like this is why I now know what I've been doing uh, with video games my whole life, because Shadows of Mordor says it. You get your throat slit in the beginning of the game. <laughs> And you wake up a ghost man in hell world. So you kind of don't belong there. But so like everyone's expendable. There's no guilt. Everyone's an asshole. You're in asshole land, which is run by the people that already killed you. Your wife's already dead. Your kids are already dead. You have no idea what's going on. But there's a ghost man saying you have ghost powers now. Go fucking kill people. <laughs> And, and, and but but and here's how you really kill them nice. Like if you get behind them, you press the X button, then you grab their windpipe and you suck their life essence into your sword, and then you take your sword and you stick it, and the sword gets more power the harder you choke them. And once your sword's full, you can stick it in a stone and get a bigger hand for choking two throats at once. Uh, <laughs> dark confessions. I, I I fear now as a forty two year old like like as we enter the world of increased like virtual. I I now I now I'm now I'm my mom. Like now I'm ready to say this is going to be trouble. Uh huh. Like the, now I'm willing to say I think if a 14 year old kid could put on a helmet, yeah, and Did like walk around a virtual house with a knife and practice <laughs> being being Michael Myers from Halloween, like like, like I that that the kid I I don't now I can't now I don't know now I'm now I'm now I'm just old, but but uh, but I get to I get to do it all. But then I'm like he be, fuck I choke you in the game. Wouldn't he be satisfied being Michael Myers in just the VR world? You think you'd take it out? I don't know. And then there's the question of like, well, if they have the technology to simulate that, then they have the technology to simulate you preventing it and, you know, understanding that it's wrong and stuff, which is what our current video games are. There's, I heard somebody make a titter. The, the, you, you think that that's silly. Well, I mean, I, th I th you mean, do good but the, the, through the, video games? The, 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 
Oh, actually, I think we're kind of I think we're kind of seeing that shift right wait now. Wait a minute. My brother told me he did Oculus Rift demos, and he said that one of them is you walk through a party both as someone getting from the POV of someone getting date raped and also the date raper. <laughs> So like you kind of see like, <laughs> uh, well okay, and it was meant to be an educational like don't date rape people, not here's how you do it. <laughs> well, that's I mean the funny thing is that's it's, a, it's, a, it's like a new face on the. It was like empathizing the, with the victim or something. The origins of pornography is like like it, it had to originally start as like reefer madness, you know. Let's like show you. Let's show you people smoking pot. Let's mm-hmm. show you what you you want to come. You're fascinated with pot smoking, so you're gonna come see this movie called Reefer Madness. But we're gonna we're gonna be protected because we're gonna be telling you, blah blah blah. And then pornography started as sex ed kind of videos. Like, like oh look at Sally the slut. Here's uh-huh. how you recognize her. <laughs> She'll be tromping around showing gam when it's not <laughs> called for to for, by her job. Um, that's too much gam, Sally. <laughs> You just gotta. You hope hope you got enough more gam to walk to the skid row. <laughs> and they said, "What if we take the narrator out?" And we just... <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. Yeah. That's the history of pornography, right? Yeah. It's like, after they slowly were like, "Well, how educational <laughs> is this?" I I just came back from a test screening of uh-huh. Sally Slut and. Uh, there weren't a lot of uh, anti sluts in the coats. audience. <laughs> uh, a lot of guys uh, 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 demurely respecting the, f- the the film craft by holding their hats in their laps. Uh, so, what is that? Like, like, is that was that a positive fart sound? It, okay. <laughs> I just I projected onto that like I just heard like my older brother going like that's that's a uh, sentence. <laughs> Well, it wasn't like it wasn't like a buckled over belly laugh is what you're probably hearing. It was like a you know slow air escape from a balloon. I guess that was kind of funny laugh. Yeah, yeah. But don't you do that when something's really really unfunny sometimes? Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't your best work. No, no. I. And you know what? I'm I'm I'm, I'm making it up as I go. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so the pre- pre- when in stealth, press X to kiss your wife. Just, just that doesn't necessarily have to be the title of tonight's podcast, but it, <laughs> it, 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 it I, 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 it's words to live by. Um, 